Back with another Benchmade, and it is a cool fixed blade. All right, so here is the part number, if you are so inclined, the 185BK SOCP fixed blade, which is the Special Operations Combative Program. Whew, that's a mouthful. This is a cool knife designed by Greg Thompson. Uh, he is a knife and weapons trainer, and I've talked about him a lot in some other videos. Um, but he designed this for Benchmade as a knife for the modern warfighter. For any battle conditions. All right, I'm not some knife fighter, dude, but it's cool. It's huge. Barely fits in the in frame. Like, yeah. Overall length is 11 and 5 eighths. Full tank construction of CPM 3V. So this is very tough. This is going to be a good hard use type knife. If you're going to be doing uh, any batoning, any chopping, any stabbing and thrusting, because it is double edged up until about here. And then it becomes just a standard edge, standard not even edge, uh, the standard back spine. Okay. But this is sharpened on this edge and the entire length over here is sharpened as well. And it's pretty friggin' sharp. I mean, it's ready to go out of the box. It feels good in the hand. I almost, for me, and I didn't pull out any gloves. I don't have any gloves in this room. Um, maybe with gloves, it's going to feel better. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It just, it feels small. And I know it's supposed to be thin and lightweight and all of that jazz. And we'll talk about all the specs here in a minute. But if I was going to be using this in my mind anyway, I am not some ninja operator, knight fighter, you know, battle buddy dude. I would want a little bit thicker handles to really get a better grip on. It doesn't, I don't think it's going to roll around in your hand necessarily. It is G10 scales with this peel ply, I think they call it. It's super grippy. So if you were wet, had wet hands, bloody hands, any other kind of bodily fluids in there, I don't think you would slip. It's got some finger grooves. I mean, you're pretty well locked in. Just a little bit more to hang on to, I think would just make it feel more secure in my hand. That's all. But I do like it as far as the fixed blades go, and that's not my normal cup of tea. It's a hard uh, nylon plastic of some sort. I don't, I don't know the material on this, on this sheath. And then it's got some, again, nylon leather or something as kind of a dangler type of uh, sheath belt mount. What's also cool is it locks into the sheath without the need for this retention. And I know that a lot of times on military knives, you need two forms of retention. So that's probably why. So you've got the snap here and then you've got this spring loaded. It's not even really spring loaded. It's just spring steel that locks into this little cutout here. So you're gonna see a little bit of wear here on the, the guard, and it is ambidextrous. So because the blade is symmetrical, you can put it in either way and it will lock in place. So that's kind of cool. It's a cool looking knife. I'm not gonna run out and buy one, but it's cool. If you wanna run out and buy one, Check out Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. Use your Dirk 10 promo code, get 10% off. Here's his website and information. Retail price, uh, MSRP is $400 on this, according to Benchmade. Gil has it for $360, so you're already getting $40 bucks off. And then you take 10% off of the $360. I suck at math, and I'm using my phone, which has my calculator on it, to film so you guys can do the math and see what your discount would be. This thing's done really well. 
It is a cool knife. I don't know if you can really, yeah, you can see the texture. It's just put together really well. Full tang. You've got some screws here, so you could take this apart in the field if you had to. Pop these three screws out, clean out anything you need to clean out after you were doing whatever you needed to do. You could uh, use this to pound nails, attitude adjust people, whatever you need. You got some options here. You got, you know, your typical branding type stuff, which is okay. Nicely done blade. All in all, a cool knife. Which is funny because I just did an automatic video and I'm not a super into automatics. And I've done a fixed blade and I'm not super into fixed blades. But that's cool. One thing with the sheath, I did actually put this on my belt to see. And when the knife is locked in and snapped, for me, it kind of rides away from my leg a little bit. They do include some paracord to go through the holes here and then use that to wrap around and tie around your leg. You're going to want to do that because pulling the knife out of the sheath, if with without the, the lanyard, the thigh lanyard, it's almost a two-handed operation because it just doesn't want to come out. The, the sheath wants to come up with you. So you really do need to do that leg tie down to make it work properly. Um, but other than that, it, it works okay. A couple of size comparisons here with a Sharpie and the Delica at the same time. Oh, look at that. That doesn't happen all the time. Um, let's see, what fixed blades do I have here right now? I have the mini Hellraiser from uh, Jim Skelton. Skeleton Blade Works, very cool knife. I do own a couple of fixed blades as I've talked about many a time. Just did a uh, video on my fixed blade collection. Here is the Frank Fisher Fixed Battle. And one more, the CDC, the uh, Crispy Donut Community Exclusive Unity Fixed Blade. Don't remember what model number it's called right off the top of my head, but a very cool little EDC sized fixed blade. This one is more mission specific, if you will. This is not something I think you're going to really carry around. This is really for, I mean, is this really for the hunters? No. The outdoorsmen's? No. This is really mission specific to people going into bad areas to do good things. This would make a good companion blade. Maybe even too big. I, I don't know. You uh, Ninja Mall operator knife fighters, comment down below your thoughts because this is a big boy. Absolutely a big boy. But it's cool. And even though I don't want to buy something for myself, I can still appreciate the coolness and like the things for what they are. So please go check out my um, Benchmade playlist over there in the corner and have a fantastic day.